Hey guys, so a couple things before we get started on the topic of today's video that you might notice uh, that I just wanted to give you a brief explanation on. This bookcase, do you guys remember when this bookcase was in my videos when I filmed in the other room? I brought it in here because you can see the things on the shelf so much better because the bookcase is white because the bookcase that I had over here before was wood like this one and when it's wood you can't really see the objects too well so brought that in because I thought you'd be able to see things better and also you might notice from now on that I'm wearing three wedding rings and that is because when I first got married I was thin like I am now and so these are my original rings um, gold wedding band and gold diamond and then when I gained weight I bought this silver one so I'm putting the big bigger silver one at the bottom and then putting the gold ones on top and wearing them like that so that's why I have three rings and um, yeah I've lost a lot of weight and I gonna have to be careful now that I don't lose any more because I've actually gone past my goal weight and uh, I don't want to end up too too thin but I'm very comfortable at the weight that I'm at now so I'm all all set okay so you if you saw I think it was yesterday's video that I was talking about this it was my birthday on Saturday and so my husband took Friday off from work and took me shopping all day one of the places I went was a cosmetic company store and all the Mac and everything else at those stores are 40% off. So I got three single eyeshadows. Now the first one I'm going to show you is Omega, which is a matte. It's like blonde. This is like a blonde color to me. It's like a light, light brown. And what I use this for is I mean you can use it you can obviously use it as an eyeshadow but I'm using it as a brow powder in yesterday's video I mentioned that I finished my hard candy brow pencil and I wasn't sure if I had a backup well I do have a backup but I'm just gonna leave that aside for now because on my brows right now is the Mac Omega with my LA girl brow pomade in blonde and um, that's what I did my brows with today and the reason why I like that combo is it reminds me of, do you guys remember when Billion Dollar Beauty was at Target? Well, this is Billion Dollar Beauty brow gel and powder in blonde, but these products are old and should probably be thrown out. But I didn't want to get rid of them until I found replacements for them, and then I remembered that the MAC Omega matches the brow powder, and this LA Girl Brow Pomade matches the brow gel. So now I have a replacement for those. So that's what I did my brows with. It takes a little bit longer when you do the two-step process like that, but I feel like it looks more real than most brow products do. So that's how I used the Omega today. Now the other two shadows I got, I'm going to show them to you and I'm going to use them. When I first saw this at the store and looked at the name I was like hmm I never heard of that because I've been out of the loop for a long time when it comes to Mac. I, I used to buy tons of Mac when I first started my channel and then I had to stop because you know it gets expensive. But I saw this and it's called Finjin and it's like a light mauve cool mauve with a hint of brown it's and I said to myself oh my god that would probably be the perfect crease shade for me for my skin tone this was limited edition so pick that up and then I also got brown script which is a warm brown this is being discontinued by Mac and if you go to any store that sells Mac 
you're most likely going to see this on sale because I did some research and I checked some websites and most retailers have this on sale right now, but I got it 40% off at the CCO. So um, that was probably a deeper discount than what I would have gotten it at a regular retail store. But it's just a beautiful, warm brown, and it's quite versatile. You can do a lot with this. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to use those two eyeshadows today. And I did want to mention on my lips, I bought this a few weeks ago and I just haven't had a way to incorporate it into a video yet. On my lips is ColourPop Just a Tint. And this is like one of those chubby sticks that's like a tinted lip balm. This is the shade Cherry Pickin'. And I thought this would go well with the look that I'm going to do today. And the rest of the products that I have on will all be listed in the description box. So I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot because what the heck we're using um, MAC eyeshadows, right? Yeah, it's been a long time since the last MAC thing I bought was the Painterly Paint Pot. But yeah, I don't buy MAC very often. I usually wait for like a special occasion type situation. I think I bought the paint pot when I got out of the hospital. And I was like, yay, I'm alive. I'm buying myself a MAC Painterly paint pot. <laughs> um, so this was my birthday. So I thought I would get the, the three MAC eyeshadows. Now I did splurge on one other thing and it was going to come yesterday in the mail but it didn't and then I checked the date again in the middle of the night and they said it wasn't coming till Tuesday but as soon as I get that I will definitely be showing you because I'm very excited about getting a palette from an indie brand because I don't normally buy things like that because you know <laughs> but it's my birthday or it was my birthday so like to splurge a little bit. Alright, so I've primed my eyes with the Pantoli paint pot, and this is just a, like a matte uh, tan shade or beige. Alright, so I'm going to try the Finjan, which is F I N J A N, with a crease brush. And yeah, I saw this and I said, wow, this is like mauve and brown mixed together and it's got a cool tone to it. Oh yes, oh my God, my instincts were correct. It's funny because the mall that we went to that had this store was quite far away. I only went there because there was a California pizza kitchen and I really wanted to get that salad. But I actually have a CCO closer to me, and I, sh I should go over there once in a while and see what they have, because you can't beat 40% off. I mean, that's such a good deal. But even though it's 40% off, it still ends up being a lot, you know? Because I was originally going to get something else, and when she told me the total, I was like, uh, why is it so much? I thought you said it was 40% off. And she held up the one thing that I put back and I said, you know what? I don't, I don't need that. Let's not just take that one off. Cause I was also going to get a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow too, that I like. And I was like, no, I, I really don't need that. I'm just layering this just a little bit at a time. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I was reorganizing my makeup the other day and um, putting doing like a new setup for my smaller eyeshadow palettes and I saw this palette by Flower Beauty that I've had for quite some time. It's one of the petal play quads and it's called Berry More. 
and I remembered how much I love this shade right here. And I said, I'm going to do a neutral look and put that on the lid. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to take this shader brush because that is the most gorgeous shade. That's one thing about neutrals, you know, you can do neutrals for your crease and then the outer part of the eye and underneath the lash line and then just put something really pretty and shimmery on the lid and you're good to go and it's less complicated and you don't have to think about it too much. So isn't that a pretty shade? All right, and then let me make sure I went over far enough. I have a tendency to not get that outer corner all the way over. There we go. All right, now I'm going to go into the brown script. And I'm going to take this small pencil brush first, pick some of that up. And this is a pretty deep shade, so I'm going to go easy with that and drag some of that along the lower lash line. I have to get a burgundy eyeliner. I used to have one a long time ago. And that would have looked so pretty with today's look, but I don't have one anymore. And now I'm going to take this small fluffy brush and pick up some more of that brown script and put that right in the outer part of my look here. Okay, now, let's see. Why don't I take my face highlighter, which is Hard Candy Rose Gold, and use a little bit of that as my brow bone highlight. I'm going to take this shader brush, and let's see. Let's swatch the rose. No, the rose gold is not quite light enough. So let's do the gold. I'm just going into the gold. And in our corner. Now for a liner, let's see, like I said, burgundy would have been so pretty, but I don't have burgundy, so what should we do? My gut instinct is telling me brown. I just bought a brown recently. Um... Is this it? Let's see. Dear Hard Candy, please put the names of the color on your eye pencils because it makes it kind of tough. I'm going to have to swatch. Yes. Yes, this is dark chocolate. I really wasn't sure, though. I, yeah, they don't put the name on that. All right, I'm going to put that on the waterline. I know I haven't done the other eye yet, but I might as well do both at the same time. And then my um, 
Lottie London Super Fake Fall Slash Effect Mascara. I'm going to do the lower lashes first. And I found a backup of that the other day, so yay, because I love that mascara. Curl my lashes. So hope you're all safe from that tropical storm Ophelia. It's um kind of breaking up I think now and we're getting just a lot of rain. It rained all day yesterday, all last night. It's supposed to rain all day today, all tonight and then part of tomorrow. Just what we did not need, more rain. It's done nothing but rain all summer. My flowers that I planted loved loved the rain, but they're the only ones that loved it. All right, I'm going to uh, play catch up now and do the other eye off camera and be right back. Okay, so that is the finished look. And now, of course, it is officially fall. My birthday was the first day of fall. It usually is. Um, and, yeah, once fall comes, it makes me want to wear these warmer colors. And they are pretty, but I don't know. Something about the cool colors is what I gravitate towards. But now that fall is here, I think I'm going to be mixing it up and doing a little of both all the time. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.